क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू गेट लेटेस्ट वीडियोस फ्रॉम ईकिडा फ्रेंड्स इन द प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट द सरफेस एज वेल एज द डिफरेंट प्रॉपर्टीज दैट आर बीइंग एक्सिक्यूटेड बाय द पार्टिकल्स दैट आर रिप्रेजेंट द बल्क एज वेल एज दैट आर रिप्रेजेंट ऑन द सरफेस सो इन दैट केस वी हैव गॉट टू नो दैट इज द सरफेस और द पार्टिकल्स दैट आर बीइंग ऑन द सरफेस दे एक्ट डिफरेंटली कंपेयर टू दैट ऑफ द वन दैट आर बीइंग प्रेजेंट इन द बल्क पार्टिकल सो here we are going to talk about the two kind of uh, that is process that uh, is very much important for us to understand and that is basically absorption and adsorption so what are these two concepts that is talk about so talk about the first that is uh, absorption and what is absorption let us talk about that one so the phenomenon of uniform distribution of one substance throughout the body of other substance is called as absorption For example, a sponge is been uh, uh, that is is been dipped in uh, basically water. So this is basically the water is the one that has been entering in the sponge, and that's the reason that uh, the particles are being equally surrounded by, or uh, the water particles are being equally distributed in the whole bulk, and that is the reason that it is been called as absorption. But we will when I'm talking about uh, the other example also like that of uh, the ammonia. is very much soluble in that of the water so that's why in this case basically the ammonia is being completely dissolving or it is being completely uh, that is mixing with that of the h2o in this case basically i would say that uh, uh, there is a phenomenon that there is a uniform distribution of one substance throughout the body of other substance so that is the ammonia is being now completely dissolved in that of the water molecule and that is what that kind of Uh, that is phenomenon is basically known as absorption. So this was an example of uh, that is what we have talked about the absorption, and it is basically a bulk phenomenon. And basically, more quantity of uh, uh, of the substance that has been uh, actually absorbed by the another substance, and that is what uh, the absorption is. And let us talk about the next one that is adsorption. So what is adsorption? Let us understand its definition first, and we will give a small example for that one. So that is the accumulation of a substance. on the surface of another substance due to unsatisfied or unbalanced attractive force on the surface is called as adsorption yes so this is what we have talked about earlier also and this is what the surface chemistry is so this is basically is a, a surface phenomenon where we could see that uh, in the previous lecture also where we have got to know that is the particles that are will present in the bulk and the particles that are will present on the surface they both uh, act differently or they have different properties the reason behind that is the particles that are present on the surface they don't have uh, that is equal force of attraction or they don't have balance force and we see they are basically unbalanced force attractive forces that they have so as to compensate that they have they are more attracted towards the particles that are being accommodated on the surface and that's the reason that this kind of phenomenon is basically known as adsorption and for example for example if i would say like uh, rare nickel and h2 so in this case basically the h2 gas they adsorb on the rare nickel particles and that's the reason that this kind of the phenomenon where one of the h2 molecule is basically adsorbing it, it gets adsorbed on the n2 so this is a phenomenon where the surface of the ni or the surface of the rare nickel is being now been uh, balanced with the help of the attractive forces of the h2 and ni so this is what we could call it as the adsorption so it is not uh, related to the rare nickel and h2 there are also several uh, examples like uh, that is activated charcoal activated charcoal and hydrogen even that is a kind of uh, an example where we could call it as a phenomenon where adsorption takes place so in this whole chapter we are talking about we'll talk about the adsorption only and that is basically in the surface phenomenon so this is the main thing that we are going to talk about so this was a, just a short example that we have uh, presented in front of you so that's it this was an uh, two definitions that is one for the adsorption and one more for the absorption so that's it friend so that is what i want to talk about and i hope you have understood this video very clearly and you share this video with your friends and just don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much